Hello friends, today I will tell you how to install GCC and G++ in Windows to execute C and C++ programs. So let's start. First of all, open your browser, open google.com, search for notepad++. Click on the first result. Go to download section, there find the latest version, and get the notepad plus plus installer. It is just a 4MB file, it will not take much time. After downloading is complete, click on it and install it. The installing part is very easy. Check the create shortcut on desktop box and install. Wait for the installation to complete. launch the notepad plus plus you can see the notepad is installed now now we have to install the compiler itself so you can go to your browser go to google.com and search for mingw again click on the first result our web page will appear Click on the download installer, it is a 80kb file, wait for it to complete, Open the installer, click on install, I will not recommend to change the installation directory otherwise you can face some problem later so let it be as it is and click on continue. It will take some time so I will skip this part. Now you can see that installation is almost complete wait for it to be completed yes it is completed you can see update completed so click on continue a new installation window will appear where you can see all the packages that you can install for us it will be this GCC and G++ compiler check it for installation go to installation and apply changes click on apply it will again take some time so I will skip this part again after it is complete you can see the all changes all changes were applied successfully so close this window now close this installation manager also go to your C directory you can see the mingw folder here inside which you can see the bin directory inside the bin directory you can see the G++ and GCC compiler now copy the whole address of this bin folder open open this pc or open your my computer go to properties click on advanced system settings click on environment variables search for path variable you can see the path here click on edit now we have to put the new path here give a semicolon after the last path and paste the new bin directory path click on ok and apply the changes close the system window 
now the variable is set now we will write some C program here to check whether it is installed correctly or not we will write a very simple hello world program just to check it if it is correctly installed or not first of all we will check it with the C program then we will check it with the C++ program now here is the tricky part click on file go to save as and now you have to save this file in the bin directory of mingw folder so go to this pc go to c go to c drive now go to the bin folder and create a new folder named c program or whatever you wish now open that c program folder and save this c program i will name it as example c save as type must be all type click on save and the program is saved you can see the address in the upper part now you can go to this bin folder and then go to the c program folder now now hold down shift key and right click you will see this option open comment window here open it type in tcc space your program name press enter wait for it to compile then type a and again press enter now you can see this hello all program ran successfully you can see the output here so the c compiler is working fine now we will check this same program by a C++ syntax and with the help of G++ compiler. So now we will change this program to C++ program with a little modification. Now follow the same procedure go to file save as in the bin folder create a new folder named C++ program or whatever you wish and save this C++ program in this new folder I will name it as example underscore C++ underscore program dot cpp now go back to bean folder you can see the C++ program Again, hold down shift and right click open comment window now write C++ space your program name you can press tab to get the program name automatically press enter wait for it to compile and then press A you can see the C++ program also ran successfully you can see the hello world in the comment window now I will do a trick now we'll make this folder now we will create a shortcut of this C and C++ folder in the desktop to access it quite easily. In the desktop you can see the folder shortcut now. Just click on it. Hold down shift key and right click. Open command window. Now you can, now you can run the program in the same procedure that I just told you previously. So that's how you can install GCC and G++ compiler on Windows basically these GCC compiler and G++ compiler are basically available in Linux platform but in this method you can use this compiler in Windows and it is very convenient to use this G++ compiler and to use it with Notepad++ so that's it in this video so like this video if this helped you by somehow and subscribe to our channel to be updated about new videos follow us on Twitter Facebook the links will be given in the description box Thank you for watching.